concept for an art aside came about through a conversation with my director, Karen Brocious, and we were trying to figure out a way to make our modern and contemporary collection speak in a different way. Uh, we wanted to um, bring it out of storage. We don't have gallery space that allows it to be on view all the time. So we wanted to take advantage of bringing that collection out, putting it on view in a separate exhibition, but not doing it in the same way that we normally do. In other words, not having the curator select the pieces, but instead, maybe we should have someone from the artist side kind of view the work in the collection and select pieces that really speak to them, that they see as important. So in considering who that should be, we thought about a few different people, and then we settled on the name Sigmund Abeles for a lot of reasons. He's a well-respected artist in collections across the world. He has lived through and experienced uh, a number of changes, having moved to New York in the 1950s. Uh, so he's seen a lot of the significant changes that occurred and knew many of the artists who are actually in our collection. So not only would he bring kind of a new perspective, but he could also add to our understanding of those artists from a very personal point of view. To curate a show, you have to go into the guts of a museum, and this is the only museum whose guts I've ever gone into. As a student at the University of South Carolina, I was invited into this museum, and I would help open these crates and take out the works. As we were going through and as he was narrowing it down from over 2,000 works to 250, it increasingly moved toward what his passion is, and that's the figure. At first, it was kid in a candy store. It was just fun going through all of this stuff. And when I got to 250 pieces, I really felt I couldn't boil it down to any less than that. And Todd said, no, 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 it has to be 75. And I said, well, I don't think I can do it. So we went through it again, and we put a green dot by everything that it was a must be a go, and a yellow with things that I possibly could let go. In some cases, I think some pieces feel connected to other pieces. In other cases, some works seem so much like another work that maybe I could let it go. And it was just hard choices. I was told, gosh, this hasn't been up, or that's been up a lot. Maybe we shouldn't put that up again. But I, I, in some cases, I insisted we put it up again because it was things that really meant something to me that I thought would be seen in a different light. And I'll always insist that the difference between a work of art and, and something topical like a magazine is that after you used up the magazine, you can throw it away. Whereas a work of art is something you can look at every day and hopefully find something new. It's been really delightful working with Sig on this project. He is really very down to earth. He's pragmatic and yet very thoughtful. Everything in this show nourishes me. It's what I would buy, it's what I would hang, it's what I would trade for, what I would steal. <laughs> this is an overview of what was held in Columbia Museum of Art that I think is rich and exciting and, um, and meaningful. The best of what I want to find in art.